In this lesson, we're going to look at downloading various files with Safari. We'll start here at MacPaw.com's Clean My Mac download page. When I click the free download button, after a few seconds, the file will begin downloading. I can see that happening up in the toolbar, where a new downloads button has appeared. This button will only appear if you have downloads in this list. Click clear, and the button is removed from the toolbar. So let's do that download again. When it's finished, I can click on it from here in the downloads list to open the file. Or click the magnifying glass to view it in the downloads folder with the finder. Right click on the file for more options. The file is being stored in the downloads folder, which is one of the folders in the home folder for whatever user you're signed into on your Mac. From here I can open the file to install the app, or if I wanted, move the file to another location. Let's move to a different web page now. The PDF link here, when clicked, will open the PDF user manual for this model of iMac. But right click on the original PDF link and I can directly download the linked file. Choose Download Linked File As to be able to rename it and save it directly to a specific location. This can also be done with images. Right or control click on the iMac image here and there are a few different download options. Selecting Download Linked File in this case won't download the image. It's going to download the web link that this image will jump to if clicked on. So this image is operating as a button. Right click on it again and look down a little further though. And I have a couple save image buttons and an option to add the image directly into my photo library or use it as my desktop picture. As you use Safari and download various files, your downloads folder can start to fill up. It's a good idea to go in there every once in a while and clean it out, especially of things like DMG files, which are containers that install applications. Once the app is installed on your Mac, the DMG file can be done away with. 